Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, we are here with Reggie Cox in Milan uh, with Labo Cosmetica or rather at the Mafra factory and Labo is your sort of deluxe detailing kind of brand uh, for, for detailers, strange enough. We have already done a little video on the various maintenance and decontamination products or other highlights of that range. What I wanted to talk about were the ceramic coatings. So you have four ceramic coatings, and I say ceramic coatings because they're all slightly different and they do slightly different things. Um, and the big thing here is the difference between physical protection and chemical protection. So again, in typical Labo Cosmetica style, it's done slightly differently from how other companies present the, their products. So a lot of companies, they'll have a base layer, they'll have a topper, um, and the base layer is really the physical layer, and the top uh, topper is the chemical protection, which also offers the beading. True. Sure. Um, but explain how the Labo way is. Okay, <sighs> here we go. So four different types. Uh, the number one, the, the system we thought of was that we need something on the base, a 100% physical coat, mm -hmm. an option you can take, something that will last the longest. But a 100% physical coating has disadvantages. Uh, it's susceptible for surfactants by itself, by the chemicals we use to detail our cars. So a base coat will always go together with a top coat. Now this base coat is something different. It's a resin that creates an extra clear coat that can build up some similar, uh, some microns extra on top of your clear coat, giving of course beading, sheeting, gloss and protection. But the base coat is the one to protect the paint from taking in the scratches while we use our car. And this is really interesting as well. Um, obviously we talk about uh, 9H and things like that in the terms of coatings and we've done various videos before on how 9H is not to be taken literally. It doesn't mean you can put a 9H pencil along your paintwork and it'll be protected. But what's interesting here is that uh, it's about a kind of a sacrificial layer and that if you do scratch with say a 7H on that, the scratch will remain within the top. So you put two layers of this on, don't you? It's an option. It's an option, but it will be within the coating and not in the clear coat. Exactly. And thus it makes it easier to remove. Exactly. Um, and there is an element of, we've seen videos about heating, and, and bear in mind some clear coat, modern clear coat, will have an element of self-healing anyway to true. heat. Um, but the same is true of the blindos that you can kind of recover from, from light marring. Very light. Like that. Just say very light. Very because light. Because when I drag my key over the surface, there will <laughs> be a scratch that's <laughs> going to be difficult to remove with self-healing. Absolutely. So the idea is here, we've got the physical protection, 100%. We've got the chemical protection, 100%. And at the moment, you don't get the chemical protection 100% on its own, do you? That's, no. So this product comes as a kit to essentially act as a topper for these other ones. So here, this one is called HPC, Hybrid Polymer Coating. No mention of ceramic in there, interestingly. Whereas this one is a, um, doesn't say on that one, but on these other ones, it also says things like self-assembled mono layer. That sounds exciting. Yes, um, and SiO2 and then TiO2 ceramic coating. So on these ones, these are essentially a blend of these two in terms of the, what they're offering. Exactly. Um, so I can do this bit because it's nice and simple and it's on the label, but basically this is 70% physical protection with 30% chemical protection. Yes. Can you apply this on its own? Yes. So this idea is, a, is a, it's a, a kind of one would use the compromise word between these two, but yes. that's not very sales and marketing, but essentially it gives the benefits of both, but it's not as good at, as either as good as these dedicated products. So in a perfect world, you'd have both of these. It's 100% chemical, 100% chemical, 100% physical. Um, and then this one, uh, which is called 8020, so this is 80% like this, 80% about chemical protection, but it does give you a bit of physical protection. Exactly. And again, you can have this on its own. Exactly. Both uh, STC and SAM are standalones. Uh, what we provide is a selection of the customer. Mm -hmm. So if the customer says, I am the, the sales guy that drives 60,000 kilometers a year, and I like to wash my car every week in a ton of car wash. So this car is then a perfect combination for Blindo and HPC as a super, super long difficulty in protection of the car. If the car is driven less or washed less or is not even in winter times, then you have every single application for the car that has been driven or for the washing stages that has been using. Gotcha. What's really interesting with not just the marketing, but with the creation of these products is a lot of, um, and it's a decision that I suppose a ceramic coating manufacturer needs to come to uh, from the point of view of their marketing is, are they marketing it to the end user, where there are some out there which talk about durability, uh, they talk about hardness, but it's done in a very 
easy to understand way for non-detailers and they think, oh, I want that on my car, that's the value add to my car. And then there are other products which are targeted very much at the detailers and they're talking about ease of application, ease of sales and, and you know, marketability essentially. You kind of strike the balance quite well because there's lots on here that the man in the street's not going to understand exactly. in terms of the chemistry of it, in terms of the attributes of it. But at the same time, there's plenty on here which a detailer does understand um, and you focus very much on ease of use. You're saying that some of these products, particularly used with the Veritas, um, have a, a kind of the ease of application and speed of application. And apart from one product, and I can't remember which it was, you're saying that they can uh, cure times and um, all the other attributes and, and things that you get with ceramic coatings are consistent anywhere in the world. That is to say, any temperatures and any humidities within reason. Yes. You're doing it at minus 10 and 100% humidity, if such an environment ever existed, um, then don't, don't do ceramic coatings. Um, but generally speaking, it works in, in Saudi Arabia as well as it works in the UK as well yes. as it works in Asia. We send it all over the world. We send it to Asia, we send it to the Middle East, we take in uh, Norway with the harsh environments, we take an average of what's happening. Um, we try to eliminate the infrared light because infrared light is a luxury we see a lot here in Europe. Mm -hmm. The single man studios, they don't have the time to wait for 24 hours. They have to cure, put the car back outside and start a new project. So we designed Blindle to be self-curing. In 30 mm -hmm. minutes, it's ready to take on either its second layer or top it off with the top coat HPC. And so if you've got a car in and you're doing ceramic coating, how long until that car can go outside where it could get wet and other things like that. How long do you want to leave it? Generally speaking, the first 24 hours are key mm -hmm. and then the next 10 days become key. But I feel that if you take the HPC and we have the initial six hours, the cars these days are not round anymore. So the danger of having water sticking, of leaving itself on top of the surface, creating either water spots is already diminishing because of the hydrophobic effect. Gotcha. And if you were to have just one of these products, say this one was available individually, which would you take home? Well, I did a fun project in Christmas, applying them all four on top of each other. Okay. Starting, of course, with the base, then going to the second most physical one, to the third most physical one, moving to the chemical one. And we would like to promote something like this for a marketing strategy, but I don't believe building up a layering or making a lasagna is something that you could <laughs> need in, a, in, in the ceramical world. So the best thing you can do is just leave this one out and then go for a base, a hybrid, and a top coat. And then you have something we do not promote it, but I think this is what I would do when I was my own car. Gotcha. And in terms of availability, uh, obviously in the UK, Clean and Shiny um, are the distributors, importers of yes. the Labo range. Um, but in terms of uh, if you're a professional detailer, I'm guessing, do these not available to the public? They're only available to professionals? Or? So the, the rule is, that it's not so much the rule, the, the target we have is that the Blindo set is the most professional one. Mm -hmm. This is the one that's only when you have the training. So the dose, the whys, the hows, the curing, the training, everybody knows how to apply ceramic, it becomes more easy. But the key knowledge to know when the curing time is finished and the application sticks to the professional. The same goes for STC. STC is also part in a combination with HPC, mm -hmm. making it also a very long difficulty uh, uh, set you can use. And SAM was the one that we designed for the consumer market. Easy to apply, also comes in a kit with HPC together. Uh, this was the one also possible to go for e-commerce, but these two are the ones you need to have for the professionals because we feel that if you make uh, some ceramics available for everyone, there's a loss of exclusivity and mm -hmm. some ceramics are not in use for the, for the end user to have them in their hands. But the other thing you were saying how it's easy to put on and that's very much in reference to uh, in terms of ceramic coatings. So uh, one thing that's really important because we get this quite a lot is oh, I, put, I wash my car and I put a ceramic coating on it. Quite often that doesn't end very well. Uh, uh, with ceramic coatings it's all about the prep. So sure. in terms of how you put on individual ceramic coatings that's a matter of reading the instructions, knowing about the cure times and the strategies and having something like Veritas to hand as well to help. If you, you have Veritas everything becomes easy. <laughs> everything is good. Um, mostly because you're drunk. But, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, the key with ceramic coatings is as, as with so many things in detailing it's all about the prep, same for painting, same for all sorts of other uh, crafts that we have. Um, anyway, I think that is a nice introduction to them. And they're all available on the market now? Yes. All right then, thank you very much. Thanks, Eric. It's been a pleasure. No more.